Generally itself is a reinsurer, so we insure other insurers. Typically we do not, not have access to off-the-shelf platforms. So the alternative for us is really high code or low code. Um, building high code platforms, that means you have a monolithic block uh, that may perfectly meet the business needs when it goes into production, but over time there will be a gap opening up between the business needs and what the platform delivers. That uh, made us look at low code. With low code, we can develop applications that do not develop into technical debt. We can develop applications that are essentially living organisms that can adapt to changing business needs. When we started with the outsystem in the journey, we didn't have any development talent left in the organization. So we had to rebuild development competence. We had to um, change the way people think about technology. Um, from high code to low code, from off the shelf platforms to something we build ourselves with low code. The advice from our system so start small and build success and then just build on that. Uh, and so we were slowly building up our skill set and, and with that the complexity of the tasks we, we, we tackled. We have uh, more than 25 our systems developers right now. We have done a multitude of uh, projects, small and of short time horizon and, and larger and more complex. We have built uh, more than 40 out systems applications within two years, consolidating a fair number of the legacy applications. But essentially we have built out systems applications across nearly all business units and corporate functions. The beauty of low code is really the flexibility. We can build something quickly, we can build something iteratively, working with the business. We can deliver additional functionalities later on. My favorite metric of success is really user experience. For us, it's important to eliminate menial tests to attract highly qualified um, talent, employees seek meaning in work more than they used to before the pandemic. And if we are able to eliminate tasks of low qualification, then we have more uh, satisfied employees and uh, we have less turnover, especially young people entering the workforce who want to uh, be exposed to modern technology. And I think that's it. Okay, I hope it's <laughs> I hope it's good. I'm always yeah, nervous. it is, it is. Yeah? <laughs>